For this option, we're going to go ahead and look at how to find the alarms and the service history about the machine. To do that, we'll go into the data menu. We'll go into history with the select button. And then we can scroll to our alarms option, hit select, and view any current alarms that exist. We can view them in order of occurrence. And if at any time we need additional information about the alarm, the help button will provide troubleshooting information for that alarm and its diagnostics. Hitting the back button will take us to the home menu where we can decide to clear the alarm history or view alarms that have occurred in the past. Through the service option, we can hit select and take a look at the replacement or test functions. In the test function, we can actually enable any part of the machine, turn it on, and as it turns on, watch the operating conditions of the temperature sensors to verify that it's working to the appropriate values. Pressing the back button will take us back so that we can energize the next function or completely take us out of the test option. We can then scroll down to the replace menu where after we have replaced an item, we can scroll to it and you see that we can select any piece of equipment in the machine, hit the select option, and let the controller know that we have just replaced compressor one. This will reset the clock that calculates the run times. Hitting the back button again will take us back to the service menu where we can scroll down and we can see a report where we can generate a report through our USB device to take back to our computers or through the service menu items or the data items we can go back in and we can scroll down to view the individual run times and history for the device pressing the back button again will take us back one menu item at a time we can look at the factory information for our software that's currently on the control board. And in the data menu, we can also scroll down to advanced settings or run times. Use the select button to view the hours. And now as we see for cooling one, there are zero hours indicating that we just replaced the first compressor. Pressing the back button will take us back one screen at a time. Or again, the main menu button will take us all the way back to the home screen we can view current alarms or use the back button to view the operational status. Thanks for joining us today on our review of the new Prodigy 2.0 control board. For more information regarding Prodigy 2.0, please contact your Lennox sales representative or visit www.lennoxcommercial.com backslash prodigy.